welcome back to PJP Lifestyle guys. Today we're gonna be showing you how to disable the auto start stop feature on the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This will definitely work for other models as well. Uh, not just the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Hopefully you guys can see me well. I got the new camera in, shooting in 4K, so hopefully we're gonna get some good quality videos here. Uh, if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we're currently at about almost 600, like 585 or something when I'm filming this video. So if you guys are not subscribed, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. New videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. on the channel. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First, let's get a cold start going and see how it sounds. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing is disabling the auto start stop here, which is this thing right here. Um, make sure you turn that down. So we're gonna go ahead and change this here so you don't have to keep pressing this every single time that you turn the car on. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on, boom, okay. So uh, for right now, as you can see, it's there's nothing on the dash uh, once it's all set. There's nothing on the dash that's gonna be showing anything weird. Uh, right now. So yeah, you're not gonna get a check engine light if you do this on your car normally. Um, I'll show you guys that after, I'll show you the dash after I do it. But first, I'm gonna go run and uh, go to a spot where I can film this better, and I'm gonna show you what it does with it on and with it off, so you guys can see exactly why I want this disabled on my car and why you guys are probably gonna wanna disable it on yours. So apparently there's a lot of dumb settings in the car with this start-stop feature already that make it not wanna work as it is, so that just adds to the clunkiness of it and makes me want to get rid of it even more because it seems like every single time that I've tried to shoot this video right now, there's either the steering wheels turned or the temperature's too low or this or that, but I just really can't wait to get rid of this because it's, it's uh, I can't wait, to, you'll see, you'll see, just wait, I'm gonna wait and then we'll jump, we'll jump. All right, so if your steering wheel is turned, it doesn't work. If your engine's not hot enough, it doesn't work. If you're, uh, wait, it doesn't give a reason, but I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here because this thing just kicks in all the time without me wanting it to, but now that I want it to for this video, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna try and get this clip, but we might not be able to. We might just have to disconnect it and show you guys that. So we'll see if, if it ends up with a clip here of me getting it to work, then I get it to work. If not, then we're gonna go ahead and just disable it and show you guys that. I guess you gotta just drive a little bit. So we're just gonna do that real quick and see. Does it just work for a second? You see it says ready now. So let's go ahead and turn around and get into a good position to show you uh, how awful this actually is and why I hate it. So we're in stop start ready. So we're gonna go ahead and stop. Completely shuts off. Now it feels like the car stalled. You can see the start stop logo pops up up here, uh, right there, you can see it pops up and start stop active, right? And now if I let off the brake, see how long it takes here it's not it's not that instant like they say it is there's like a slight delay on it and it just makes driving so difficult see see how it's before i could get on the gas it's uh let's do that quick now spin around here and show you guys again if you were driving and you're actually at like a red light or a stop this is going to delay you so much we're going to stop car shuts off and that was like, I was on the gas that whole time trying to get it to go before it actually finally kicked in. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to disable this. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into that part. This car is just so much damn fun. We got it in sport mode here. Such a blast, absolute beauty. All right, so now that we're back to go do this, we're gonna make sure the car is off. We're gonna go ahead and jump around to the passenger side where we're gonna access the battery. So first thing we're gonna wanna do here is pop this door open and uh, see if we can fling this seat all the way. Whoa, I did not know my car could do that. Holy, the whole seat can go in half. That's tough. Think about the storage options with this, guys. That's a, oh, what a lovely thing. Then we're gonna just pull it as far forward as we can with one hand. Okay, so that should be good. Now we got the seat up inside of there. That's fantastic for storage options. So now if we go ahead and jump at the back, we got a Minnie Mouse thing, don't mind that. That's uh, for my niece. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop our floor mat up and out of the way as much as we can. It looks like someone got peanut butter in my car. That's tough. 
but we're gonna go down here and pop open this little flap which is gonna be our battery access so it's gonna take you a pretty fair amount of effort to yank it up but it's not too bad just go ahead and grab it and yank it up um, I'm not sure if it flips out of the way uh, it looks like I did just actually make some money so uh, as you can see I'm making money off my YouTube channel uh, if I didn't film this video I would not have found this uh, so yeah, I, I make money off YouTube. I just made five cents. Uh, that's awesome. We're rich now, so now we can go ahead and buy that track hawk if we want to. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flashlight so I can literally just set it up for you guys so you can see better. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I actually just made another 25 cents. So now I've made 30 cents off this video. So make sure you click that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm to help me make more YouTube money. Cause you guys can see I'm getting rich off these videos. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pop this cover up and try and show you. It's kind of a hard angle, but I'll try and get the uh, camera in here and get you a good angle to see. So now hopefully you can see, um, this is kind of weird to do with the camera in my hand. But if you see this little red wire, going into this little plug here onto the battery terminal. Uh, you can kind of see it here. Try not to block the light, but this little plastic piece here with this little wires coming out and this little plug, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and disconnect that. I'm not gonna be able to do it on camera, so I'm gonna set the camera down and do that and then I'll show you guys. All right, so as you guys can see, I was able to just disconnect that super quickly. Hopefully the angle was able to see it, but you just pull it out and uh, you're free to just leave this wherever. Um, I'm just gonna try and hang it like this maybe so that it doesn't touch anything or get snagged or pop around or rattle or anything. So I'm just gonna tuck it there. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and start it up real quick, close this up and then start it up and show you guys what kind of dash lights we're gonna get from this. See what kind of uh, dash lights we're gonna get as we uh, check it out. Okay, so when we hop in here, we're just gonna put it right on the dash so you guys can see exactly what's gonna happen when I start it up. I'm gonna start it. Start, stops, service is unavailable, service, start, stop, system, and then that's gonna go away. And then we're just gonna get this little dash light down here, uh, which is gonna be on the screen pretty much forever now uh, when that's disconnected. Now, if we go down here to this start, stop, service, on a, on a, start, stop, unavailable, service, stop, start, system, um, Obviously you don't have to because you know why it's doing that. You can go ahead and plug that back in if you don't want it. It's just gonna pop up like that every time you start the car. Now one thing I wanna check is in the vehicle info, if I click over, I'm assuming that this is the same sensor that's gonna show the battery voltage. I guess it's not, so it's just for that start stop is gonna be how it senses if it's gonna work. But now I don't have to press this little button down here to turn it on and off because it's already not working because we disabled it by doing that. Now, if you guys are okay with having the little dash light on, then go ahead and do this. If not, then it might not be the option for you. Now for me, this is fine because I don't really care about one little dash light, especially since I know what it is and it's because I disabled that system, which drives me absolutely nuts every time I get in the car. And every time I drive it and I forget to turn that off and I'm like, oh my God, my car just sculled, my car is falling apart, it's dying, it's dead. We do know that it's a hoopty based on my key tag. Uh, as we can see here, we do know it's a hoopty. We keep that hoopty key tag on us at all times because it doesn't matter what we're driving, it's always gonna be a hoopty. But that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. So if you guys did enjoy this video, you got any information from it, make sure you click that like button down below. Below. If you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure you comment what you guys think. And uh, if you guys have any other ways of doing it, I know there's a little plug-in adapter that you can do. Um, I'm not going to do that, obviously, right now. But that is another option that you guys could do. So comment any solutions that you guys have down below. If you like it, you hate it, whatever, let me know. I love the conversation. I'll reply to every single comment down below. And of course, subscribe to stay updated with future content. We have new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. on the channel. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that so you can be on the lookout for future uploads. And uh, that's about it for this video, guys. Peace.